How can we be confident in our faith and relationship with God if we don't understand the Bible? Today you will meet Leanne Welk. She's devoted to helping kids like me and adults like you understand the importance of biblical principles and how to deepen your relationship with God so you can walk out your faith with confidence. Welcome to this segment of Contagious Courage with Vianne King. Well, thank you, Sarah, for that beautiful intro. And Leanne, thank you for being here today. Oh, thank you for the invitation. I'm so excited to be on your show. <laughs> I am thrilled. Do you know, you guys, the first time I uh, met Leanne, uh, or I met you, is through your role with the Pentecostal Assemblies of Canada. And uh, Leanne, you are a wife, you're a mother, you're a leader in uh, the ministry of children, and have been serving with enthusiasm, I might add, for over 30 <laughs> years. You, you have this whimsical creativity, and you are so fun to watch. Uh, uh, you want everyone to experience God in a deeper level. And that uh, is why you started Handle with Care Ministries. Tell us a little bit more about what Handle with Care Ministries is and the story behind that passion, how you ended up here. Mm. Okay, you got to remember, I've worked with children for 30 years. So like my brain is just this creative <laughs> place. And so like literally I was getting dressed one day and this tag was just bugging me in the back of my shirt. And so I ripped it out and I looked at it and this thing, this is back in the day, right? When there were still you no know, tagless shirts and it's this long and it had like all these symbols on it. And I heard God say, this is just like a label that's on everyone's heart that says fragile, handle with care. Mm -hmm. And so that's really where it came from. And the fact that my son was going to be going, you know, graduating and what was I going to do? What was my purpose in life? But in that, it's been 10 years of just slowly walking with the Lord, asking him, what, how do I handle people's hearts with care? And about, um, let's see, a year and a half ago, I just really felt like God was saying it was time for me to go full-time into the ministry. And basically what we do is we partner with churches to provide training, support, and care for ministry leaders and their church families. And, um, and you know, I just, I just kept asking God um, for you know, questions. And probably uh, one of the biggest questions I was asking him was in regards to even teaching was how do I talk to kids about um, Christian kids about what do you do when you sin as a Christian? Because I mean, we know we're saved by grace. We know uh, that he's covered our sins. He's washed them and made them white as snow. And, you know, I could go on and on, but I had moments in my own life where I was like, I, I'm not sure how to teach this. And so um, really the Lord began to take me on my own soul care journey is what I call it. And understanding how we really and truly can just come to him. I mean, <laughs> this is God, right? Like this is the, the one who made the universe, who made each one of us uniquely. And he wants to speak to each of us uniquely. And I think that's a really big piece that we don't always remember. Like we get kind of caught up in a fad or something that people are doing, but all we're trying to do is seek him. Through my journey of learning how to hear God, I discovered that God speaks to me and speaks to you, Vian, and everybody watching. He, he speaks with your five senses and he wants to meet with us. So I do this thing called five senses, five minutes, five phrases. So here's the five minutes, a convenient time. Obviously, you need a convenient time, yes. a quiet place. It's good to just pull yourself from the distraction. When I had children at home, you might find me in the car all alone <laughs> for a few minutes because I, where else do you go, right? Um, and, uh, and a favorite song is number three. Worship songs are about five minutes. So it's just kind of the perfect amount of time. 
a, a comfortable posture. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, physically, it's a really good thing to sit and be comfortable, but also the posture of our heart. Are we ready to see and hear from him? And, and then take a deep breath. Mm. I mean, we do that anyway, right? <laughs> when things are stressing out. <laughs> so those are, those are what I put down for five minutes. And um, it, it seems like not very much time, but it's incredible, Vian, what he can do in five minutes. I you hear know, let alone 55, but <laughs> I hear you girl. And I think that that is, I think what people uh, I'd like to actually just acknowledge right there. If you're not, if you didn't quite catch it is that those five minutes, those five things. Uh, and if you do, I'm like, it's only five minutes. It's like, well, is it, be it's better than nothing. Right. Mm -hmm. And so that, that five minutes that you are intentional every day, it, it develops that discipline of the prayer life to build that communication with God. Right. Um, yeah. So why do you think though now that this simple, this so simple yet very powerful tool is so hard to maintain? And what can people do to keep prayer fresh in their lives? I know you just mentioned it, but something that you could add to that even more. Like why is it so hard to do something so simple? Yeah. And you know, Vian, sometimes I, I well, again, it, this always comes from our personal experience, right? But I had some times in my life where I, I was nervous to sit with the Lord because I, I knew he was going to talk to me about some stuff. Like you think, I mean, he's our father, right? And we come and, um, but we're so, we might be scared to go. But when you step into the presence of the Lord in that time, it's just like everything kind of melts away and it's like, oh, no, 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 this is my father. Oh, why didn't I come to you sooner, God? You've like, this is exactly what I needed. And yeah. so I think some people are afraid. They're, they're afraid God's going to judge them or say something. And they, you need to know people. <laughs> he loves you. He wants you to come with all of your concerns and all of your cares, yeah. no matter what. Yes. Um, I love this conversation. I, uh, because you know what, like some people, um, when you say that they, they find it hard to come before the Lord afraid of, you know, <laughs> I've heard people say, I can't go into a church building. I might catch on fire. Like this, that element of like, if I'm not, if I'm not totally clean or if I'm not pure, I can't come before God. Um, but I even say like, if you're angry at God because he took somebody from you, or if you're upset, you're frustrated, you lost your job. Like if this is a pandemic, like you're allowed to sit. Leanne, have you ever yelled at God? <laughs> I have, I have said what was on my heart for sure to the Lord. And you're still here. And you're still here. Like, I think yeah. that people have this mentality that you can't get upset. You can't yell. Uh, you know, like we need to understand that God is an approachable God. Yeah, we should fear him, but we should also be okay to say, listen, like this is not okay. Like we're not okay. And, and have it out. Just like our spouse, like, like you need to communicate. I say, I, you know, I say all the time, you just need to communicate. Yeah, absolutely. You know what that is, because he knows what's in our hearts anyway. So prayer, right, is, is communicating what's in your heart. I just love having these conversations, uh, taking... Uh, taking some layers off uh, or taking some walls down between uh, us and what we have between us and God when it comes to how we can approach him. Um, so if there, if there are people watching, maybe they had never even prayed before. Uh, maybe they've been uh, praying for years, but they just, maybe just not breaking through that intimacy part. Um, how is it that we can understand the Bible? Like, is there a better part of the Bible to read that will help us understand that more? Yeah, you know, I think again, it's it's the openness when we come to Him to say, "I, Lord, I want to hear You," mm -hmm. and heart to heart prayer that I I teach. Um, I always start off with a prayer that just says, you know, Lord, open the eyes and ears of my heart that I can see and hear from You. Like it's and. <laughs> It's not like you're giving permission, but in some ways you're just, you're just saying, yeah, okay, I'm open and I'm expecting yeah. to hear from you now, God. And remember I was saying, uh, I do the five senses, five minutes, and then I have five phrases. I think that this piece might 
be helpful to some of those people that you're talking about. Um, again, this isn't a formula that that you can use, um, but when you teach children in particular, you, you have to have something <laughs> as a pattern and then it just becomes mm -hmm. part of what you do. So here's the five phrases. I will be still. Mm. So I actually say it out loud and just go, I will be still. There's mm. something about hearing that and just, okay, I'm going to be still for five minutes. <laughs> then meet and greet. I don't know what it looks like for you to meet and greet Jesus. But Vian, if he showed up in this house right now, I would leave the interview. And <laughs> I'm going and I am like tackling him with a hug because that's how I would meet him. But that might look really different for somebody else. But just acknowledging like you're meeting with him. Mm -hmm. Then I say, behold and be held. Behold the son of God. Behold, this is God that wants to meet with you and I. That's pretty incredible. Mm -hmm. And I, again, maybe it's because I'm a touchy-feely person, but I want to be held. I, I can sense his presence and I would put my head down on the father's chest like that's, that's how i would be again that might look different to somebody else um and then we look and we listen so we look and listen with our heart eyes and ears and just say what do you want me to know and that's when i talk i i call it heart to heart prayer because it's like if you and i are having a heart to heart talk we're just like i'm letting everything out and i'm and and you're listening and then we switch right well that's what you do with god you talk to him and then you listen to him and then he, you can ask questions and he'll answer. And that's where, you know, he'll speak to you in different ways. He speaks to us very clearly in the word. Um, he's sometimes, uh, he's showed me pictures, which I had not known until I was like 30, that that was him. <laughs> so thank you, Lord. that now I realized it was, it was him. And and then I say, print, paint, and pray. Now, this is simply writing some things down so you don't forget. Maybe God told you during that look and listen time to, uh, to pray for Vienne. So if he said that to me, then I need to write that down. And then I have to say, Lord, how can I encourage her today? And then send a text or, you know, whatever it is. And um, probably one of my favorite verses in the whole Bible is uh, Psalm 27, eight. Mm -hmm. I don't wanna get it wrong, so I'm gonna read it. Uh, my heart has heard you say, come and talk with me. And my heart responds, Lord, I am coming. Mm -hmm. Like then that, if that's the only scripture you read right now with your prayer life, right? it's gonna change you because your heart is open and responding to him. Right. Right. <laughs> I love that. When you're going to see somebody, you have different ways to like, like you either are excited or you have anxiousness. So I think that that is really good for people to hear that like God wants us to come to him without that anxiousness. Right. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Just come. Yeah. And, and you know, he'll do the rest. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to perform for him. <laughs> you just need to come. Right. Yeah. Leanne, wow, this has been just such an amazing conversation and I hope that people are gaining some insight and I know they are, even just to take away uh, that preconceived notion that I can't approach God until X, Y, and Z, uh, mm -hmm. but understanding even, even in how to approach. And so you've given us some great tips already, uh, but do you have some final thoughts? I know you do, uh, and possibly <laughs> some resources because I know you have lots. Um, that people could access and where they can access it if they don't know where to begin. You know, um, this would be my final thoughts. The whole, the whole thing of Hamble with Care and the family encounters. So uh, uh, the family encounters is the resources that I would suggest for, uh, for everyone. Um, they are to produce authentic faith, genuine relationships, and real conversation. And uh, what I am finding is that not just someone with children are now using it, but you can you can use it for um, like heart to heart prayer training. I actually have something free on the website uh, that you can just download that and 
some women are using it for their women's ministry now, yes. or you could turn it into a couple's retreat or something like that. So that, that makes me excited when people can adapt things. And um, yeah, if, if you go to handlewithcareministries.com, that's, that's my actual website. And then um, there is um, Handle With Care teachable and at, at teachable.com that is where my courses are and I, yeah i can provide you with the links and things yes but, absolutely um, yes yeah i'd love to help people learn <laughs> yes you'll have all of that information in the description uh of the video today uh where you can access because i know unless you've had your pen and paper out today you are wanting to hit rewind on this video and watch it so Thank you, Leanne, so much for the way that you have uh, both inspired and challenged us today to see that, you know what, we can have a deeper relationship with the Lord, especially even more so in this pandemic, and we can walk out our faith in confidence, and it doesn't matter what's circling, right? And so thank mm -hmm. you so much for that. Um, and uh, I just want to end with this, this final note, you know, I love the beauty um, of what can happen, Leanne, when we partner together for kingdom purposes. And I believe that's what we've done today. And mm -hmm. in this month, in just maybe a few short days, is International Women's Day, right? And Yay! <laughs> so I am blessed to have had this day uh, with two amazing women to bring encouragement and inspiration to my viewers today. And so to all you women out there, uh, you know, today and every day, let's mm -hmm. celebrate each other let's mm -hmm. let's celebrate each other we've earned it right oh <laughs> uh, so anyway uh, i'll stop right there and all that's left to say is not to us oh lord not to us but to you and your name it goes all the honor and glory for his unfailing love and faithfulness until next time bye for now And we can walk out our confidence in faith. Amen. We can walk out our confidence in faith. That was supposed to be, we can walk out our faith in confidence. I'm going to start over. Wonderful. So good. That is so good. I think we got it. Do you feel good? Yeah. I feel yeah. Good. Okay. That's good.